Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I am Mercedes, and this is the Frugal Life with Mercedes. Um, today is just going to be a front porch um, chat video, just talk about some stuff that I have um, going on. So, um, I haven't posted a video since the new year began, and if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that um, in the fall and winter, I try to give myself some um, extra grace. And I think that that's important. Um, you know, with the seasons changing, I'm really a spring-summer person. Um, I get a lot of energy from the nice weather and, and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, there's a lot of people like that where, you know, the seasons change. And, you know, I do appreciate all the seasons. I, I do like them all, but I seem to have a lot more energy um, once spring comes around. Um, so just trying to take it easy on myself, um, you know, scaling back the, the couponing and, um, all that kind of stuff. So for the month of January, I'm going to be, and I have been doing a low spend January. Um, I've tried to do no spend months before, but I'm the type of person that if I say no spend, then I end up spending a lot more than I normally would. I guess, you know, it's psychological. So low spend, um, just, you know, um, just trying to manage my finances well and, you know, um, especially since I became debt free, um, you know, I have a lot more income uh, available. So just being really uh, mindful of purchases and things like that. So today is Saturday, so we had some really awesome Dollar General deals. So I did do a couple of deals at Dollar General just because like the transactions were less than $5 and you were getting over $25 worth of stuff. So I did a couple of those this afternoon. Um, been going on a lot of walks. I've been doing a lot of um, movie marathon um, type things. Uh, one of my one of my favorite like um some of my favorite movies are Quentin Tarantino movies um people are usually surprised when I say that I'm a Tarantino fan but his characters if you've never seen Tarantino um they're kind of gory and kind of disturbing in a lot of ways but the character development is crazy good. Like even the most minor characters, it's like they're so well developed. And so I get on little kicks where I'm um, watching Tarantino. So that's what I've been doing um, in the evenings. And his a lot of his movies are very very long. Um, so I've been watching those, and I you know really like those. And uh, also been watching a lot of Yellowstone and. 1923 and 1883. I really like those. A few years ago, um, you know, I don't really keep up with movies and TV shows all that much. I really don't. Um, but I had some people tell me like, you watch Yellowstone, right? And I was like, I don't know what that is. And they're like, well, it's a TV show about cowboys in Montana. And I was like, okay, well, um, so I had a bunch of people tell me that I would, um, would like it. And um, I just never got around to watching it and all that kind of stuff. And then last spring, I actually went on a few dates with a man who is from Montana and grew up like, you know, you know, working on ranches and different things like that. And he was fabulous. And we, um, decided we weren't a good match. You know, we went on a few dates and it was, you know, more friendly. Um, but you know, he was, he was like, it's really, he's like, I love Yellowstone. And he's like, it's really accurate and you know, blah, blah, blah. And, um, he grew up in near Bozeman where it all takes place and all that. So, um, I gave that show a try and I absolutely love it. It's so good. Um, really good character development. I, I really like, I like things that are in depth. You know, when I meet people, I really, I, I love people with, with depth and, um, you know, just like realness. And so I'm really drawn to characters in movies and shows 
where they show that depth because in some some movies and shows like the character has no depth and I don't seem to like those as much so Yellowstone um, and then the spin-off shows I've been watching and um, you know of course I love Harrison Ford and he's in 1923 and I love Sam Elliott and he's in 1883 uh, really really good characters and what else um, I can't remember if I said I've been yeah lots of walks and lots of family time um, and I've been working on selling my stockpile so I'm not buying very much right now because of the low spend um, and I've really scaled back on the buying um, this this fall and winter even before now so just focusing on selling the stuff and I've got some big things that are going to be going on this year I'm not ready to share all of them yet but some some big things um, that are you know I'm working on and I need to do some stuff to make that happen and you know I love having a goal and you know these are the steps to this goal and the end point and just a lot and so I'm really you know focusing on those things and uh, I don't I don't do New Year's resolutions per se I'm, I'm very um, you know I guess the New Year's resolution and goals are similar but I kind of always have goals in place throughout the year and so um, I my a girlfriend of mine she texted me and she was like um, are you doing New Year's resolutions and she said that she does like you know I'll play with my dog more you know things like that and um, and then I told her I said my goal for 2023 my, my, my goals for 2023 are to get tattoos and work on um, my anger management and she was like those are good ones so um, I do have a tattoo scheduled in March um, I scheduled that back in October or November um, I I take the money from my selling of my coupon stockpile to buy thing like extra things for myself so um you know i i finished my my sleeve and that i think i started the sleeve and oh it was it's been a while and so i was able to finish it but there's a couple little spots that need to be finished up um so when i made my appointment in march my guy, my tattoo guy, is going to finish those couple little pieces and then I'm going to do a um, small back piece. And something I like to talk about is frugality versus being cheap. Now, I consider myself a frugal person, but that doesn't mean that you don't you know, for me, frugality means prioritizing what is important to you. You guys have heard me say that a bunch of times. Um, vacations and cruising the world, those are not priorities for me personally. If they're a priority to you, that's awesome. You have to decide what are the things that are important to you. And they don't have to make sense to anybody else. You know, they really don't. If whatever you deem very important you know go on with your bad self um for me personally um body modification is um, a deep rooted interest and passion and in the scheme of things i don't really have all that much it's it's funny because i know people who are have a lot of body modification um and I know people that have none. And the area that I live is not a very, um, it's not metropolitan at all. Um, so when I go out and about, I look pr pretty alternative compared to most of the people that live here. But when I come into contact with like a truly alternative person, then I don't look alternative. So it's all about like, you know, 
it depends where you where you live it depends what the people you live around are exposed to different things like that um so anyway so it's it's weird because when i tell my my friends that are heavily body mod they're like you're not even that you don't have that much body modification i was like i know i know but some people think that i do um so you know so piercings and tattoos have always been an important thing to me personally and they're not for everybody and some people are like you know why would you do that to yourself and blah 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 and I can only speak for myself that when I do these things it's for me like it's for me personally um, I get true enjoyment and pleasure and it's a passion of mine um, so, you know, and yeah, I, I just, I felt like I wanted to talk about like the body mod, um, because it's just, it's something I'm passionate about and I don't, I don't tend to talk about it too much just because it is what it is. Like it, it's, it's, it's a part of me and, um, always been a big interest of mine and while I was becoming debt free and, you know, all that kind of stuff, I didn't do any of that because at that moment, that was not a priority. And now that I am debt free, it, it's a priority to me. And, you know, I, I can't explain it. If, if you know, you know, if you don't, you don't. It's just one of those things. Um, but I haven't, let me see, I haven't really shown it, and this isn't the best light, but I don't know if you guys have seen it all, um, but this is what I did. So if you see here, this one hasn't been colored in yet, so when I go back, my guy is going to do this, and then on the elbow, there's some um, patchiness, but that's just because of where it was, so he said that we'll go back over that. And then these two here um, need some more color on them. Um, but I'm really um, happy with it and I think it looks amazing and I'm so happy. And uh, the same guy has done all my, all my work. So yeah, and he's super cool and he like totally gets me and we have an awesome time. Um, when I was there um, to, to finish this up, we were um, listening to um, documentaries and stuff and like conspiracy theory stuff. And it was just, it was, it's like, it's the whole experience. And so I never take anybody with me when I get tattoos or piercings. Um, it's my me time. It's, you know, it's, it's, I just love the whole, the whole atmosphere, um, and the whole thing. And, um, my guy is, my, my tattoo guy is really cool. Oh, um, my eyebrows. I've been getting a lot of questions and a lot of wonderful comments about my eyebrows. Um, so I've always wanted to have my eyebrows microbladed. I'd say over a decade, I've wanted to have them done. I just never did. So I finally, this um, fall, got them microbladed, and it is painful, um, but it's a weird kind of pain, and they do, I, I did want to go over the process because I've had some people that were interested, so the girl that did my microblading is actually the girl that does my piercings, so she has been doing um, piercing and permanent makeup for 30 years. Um, she's one of the best in the area. So she's done all my piercings and she did my microblading. So microblading is considered a uh, permanent makeup, but it lasts, um, I think it's like 15 months to like 30 months or something like that, depending on your skin tone, depending on how you take care of them. Also, it's less likely to last a long time when you first get it done. Um, 
but you you know you just kind of keep getting it done but it's it's considered permanent but eventually I will have to have them touched up so I went in there I had a consultation with her and then I set up the appointment and the appointment took about an hour and a half two hours and you decide what color you want them so you know I wanted them to look as natural as possible so you know because that's what she asks during the consultation you know like if you're trying to look like a Kardashian because she said she has people come in there with super super unrealistic expectations of you know what they're gonna look like or they really want to drastically change the entire shape and you know she tries to accommodate but she wanted to know what I was looking for and I was like I don't want anything crazy I said I want them to look as natural as possible follow my you know all that kind of stuff so you decide the color and she maps them out and there's lots of you know there's measuring and all that kind of stuff so then they begin the process and it's tiny little slits into the skin with um, pigment so it's similar to a tattoo but you know a little bit different and um, eventually toward you know towards the beginning of the process they do put a numbing cream on but the numbing cream did not work for me at all and so she was like did the numbing cream work at all and I was like no I was like let's just keep rocking and rolling like um, and she said for most people it does you know she hasn't really had that many people where it didn't but I've had that happen at the dentist before too, where they were like, are you numb at all? And I'm like, nope, not numb at all. Um, and they have to put in more. I'm not really sure, you know, why that, why that happens sometimes. But luckily I do have a high pain threshold. Not that microblading is terribly painful, but it's just more like uncomfortable because it's in such a condensed area on your face. So, um, after the appointment for the first couple of weeks you like you know use she gave me this special um, cream to use and you use lotion and you have to put you know and then after that you should be putting sunblock on you guys should be putting some sunblock on your face every day every day I put sunblock on my face and neck and if I don't have sleeves on which if you guys have been with me for a long time you know I don't wear sleeves ever <laughs> um, so sunblock on the tattoos and all that kind of stuff and then a couple of weeks later, where was it, what was it? Was it six weeks, four weeks? Something like that. You go back for a touch up and she just touches up the areas um, like for, for healing, which they do that with tattoos as well. Um, sometimes you need to come back in certain areas, didn't take the pigment as well or you know different things like that. And they turned out awesome and I was really I was really happy with the process and it was something that I always wanted to do and I you know I love them so you know this is not for everybody but you know I I'm not a big makeup person so that's what I had told her I said I don't really wear makeup I said but I feel like my eyebrows are really light, but when I've tried to color in my eyebrows, it looks a little strange with makeup on. So that's why I wanted them to look as natural as possible. But even if you are a person that wears makeup, you know, I think that it's it's a good option and, you know, you know, definitely want to find someone that you trust and someone that's reputable and, and all that. And like I said, my lady's been doing it for, I want to say 25, 30 years, something like that. Um, and she is amazing and super sweet. So that's, I want to say that's all that's really been going on. Um, just really taking it easy on myself and focusing on um, myself and, 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 the, and the goals that I, you know, am, am working towards and really doing my favorite things and, you know, I think it's I think it's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle and I'm a super high energy person I like to be busy I like to um, I have a lot of balls in the air and that's how I like it um, but I sometimes run myself 
ragged and I don't need to. So I also have to practice a lot of grace. For me, I really struggle with just sitting around. Like I would feel guilty from just sitting around. But I continue to do a lot of like, you know, work on myself. And you guys have heard me say before, like I do go to therapy. And so, you know, my therapist was like, well, that's just your anxiety. Like, you know, and really working through it because I'm not a lazy person. So sitting, you know, I work full time. I have a part time job. I have a resale business. I do YouTube. Now granted, I don't post as much as I could or should on YouTube, but you know, all these things take a lot of time. And so self-care is really, really important. And especially if you have, have children and a significant other and all these different things, it's like you really, really have to take time for yourself in whatever form that looks like. If that means picking yourself up a Starbucks, if that means sitting in your car for a few minutes when you get home from work, um, you know, hitting the snooze button, what you know, whatever it is, you know, don't forget to take care of yourself and maybe discover what self-care means to you because it means different things for different people. Um, I love getting my nails done. And while I was becoming debt free, I didn't do those things at all. And so one of the first things I did when I became debt free was I started getting my nails done again. Is it necessary? No. Is it expensive? Yeah. <laughs> Is it frivolous? Yeah. But I get a lot of enjoyment out of my nails. Um, they make me feel sexy. They make me feel confident. They make me feel empowered. And isn't that strange that something as small as that can do all that for a person? For somebody else, it wouldn't do that. Um, and so that's why you have to discover what self-care is for you. So every two weeks, I go to my nail girl um, and she, my nail girl actually owns the, the business. And so she doesn't turn TV, you know, she doesn't have TVs on, you know, cause I've gone to a lot of nail salons and the news is playing and all that and it's fine, but I really, I like quiet, you know, and I've been going to her for a long time and, you know, when I get there, you know, I'm like, hey, how are you? And she's like, oh good, how are you? And I ask how her baby is cause she's got a baby and a toddler and she's like, oh good. And then we sit in this fabulous silence. And I don't, I don't play on my phone. I, I have my phone on silent. Um, I don't worry about my phone. I just I sit there and I listen to like the peaceful music she has playing, and it's just, and it and it and it just is like decompress and you know and all that. And it also, you know, I get to feel creative and, and all that kind of stuff because I, I have her do some, some fun stuff to my nails sometimes and, and she totally gets me and um, you know she has those, oh, most of the people that come into her salon um, just have basic stuff done which is fine but um, you know so she really enjoys when, when I come in because then we can, you know, do something a little more creative. And, um, yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to sit and chat with you guys and, and just talk about this stuff. And I'm hoping to do some more, um, sitting and, and talking videos, but you know, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope all of you are doing good and I hope all of you are taking care of yourself and taking time for yourself and really prioritizing what's important to you. So until next time guys, bye.